Tonight, the short north will operate as normal, but tomorrow, tomorrow will be a much different story. Starting Friday night, the city is asking all businesses to shut down at midnight instead of 2.30 to cut down on violence. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11, everyone. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. The city held a news conference earlier today laying out these changes, giving the city and businesses just 36 hours to prepare. Here's what the city is requesting tonight. The city is asking all businesses that are normally open at midnight to shut down. The mayor will also be issuing an executive order to shut down all food trucks at midnight. Teens between the ages of 13 and 17 will not be allowed in the short north between the hours of midnight and 430 AM and Columbus police are stepping up patrols between the hours of 8 PM and 4 PM AM. These changes and business owners in that area quite upset. Tin TV's Richard Solomon live in the short north tonight with their complaints. Richard. Well, Yolanda, Andrew, the restaurant owners and food vendors that we spoke with today say, hey, they were blindsided when they heard this announcement. And I did have a chance to speak with Mayor Andrew Ginther one on one earlier this evening. He says what it came down to is keeping the public safe no matter what. The late night hour for restaurants, bars and food vendors is prime time. But with the news many received on Thursday, I'm shocked. I didn't hear it until I heard uh, from a, a friend. It raised questions of safety. I think today's action did the two things we were totally against. As more violence continues to spill into one of the city's go to areas, the city announced plans to keep the short north safe during the weekends. Mayor Andrew Ginther announced a voluntary curfew for businesses, asking them to close by midnight. He also said he's issuing an executive order mandating food carts to shut down at midnight. This would impact food vendors like Adam Wallace, who says vendors typically don't start until midnight. It means you're out of business. I mean, they've already restricted hours uh, where you can operate. They've already restricted the times where you can operate. The restaurants don't close till 11. We're not trying to compete with the restaurant. And also business owners in the short north, like Sean Shinazi. The problem there are not the residents that come or the patrons that come, park their cars, pay the meters, and actually patronize my business. The problem is this, unfortunately, and I call them criminals, you know, underage, the people that don't belong, they come there. I took these concerns to the mayor, speaking with him one on one. This is some of the food cart vendors that they've been blindsided by today's announcement. The unprecedented uh, types of violence we'd seen in the last couple of weeks uh, required a unprecedented response. The mayor tells me they've spent hours with owners and citizens this week talking through ways to keep the area safe. But what it came down to is how to keep the public safe at all times. I'm asking everybody to step up, do their part uh, to make sure that this neighborhood and neighborhoods throughout the city remain safe. And Mayor Ginther tells me he plans to sign that executive order for food vendors tonight. We'll of course keep you updated on this. For now, reporting live in the short north, I'm 10TV's Richard Solomon.